All right, so now that we know what to do, let's get on, let's get on with the general. As you can see here, we have general, 665 questions, total of 12 different chapters as I described before. Okay, they're only gonna take about 60 questions out of these pool of questions. Remember one thing though, these questions will not be identical to what I'm teaching you here, but the answers will be. Remember, use your gut. I'm teaching you to memorize answers. Okay, you're gonna look for keywords between these questions. You're, I want you to, this is a repetitive process. You're going to be answering questions. You're going to be reading questions. You're gonna look for the answer. You're gonna read the question. You're gonna look for the answer. You're gonna read the question. When it comes down to taking these tests, you're, you're going to automatically read the, the answers. And one of those answers is gonna pop right out. It's gonna hit you, bam! It's gonna hit you right really hard, right in the front of the forehead. And that's the one you're gonna to wanna to pick. You're gonna read the question. And based on the question, that's the answer you're gonna choose. You follow what I'm saying? Let's get started, all right? So, real quick, chapter one of basic electricity, 122 questions. We're gonna divide it into 12 different parts, as I was telling you. There's gonna be a quiz at the end of every part, okay? So, you're gonna to wanna to get a 90% in order to move forward. There's no way that you're gonna be able to memorize all these questions without participation. So I want you to go ahead and read them with me, read the answers, read everything with me one time, and then continue on. All right, question number one, basic electricity. At least 50% greater than the highest applied. At least 50% greater than the highest applied. The working voltage of a capacitor in the AC circuit should be at least 50% greater than the highest applied. At least 50% greater than the highest applied. The working voltage of a capacitor in the AC circuit should be at least 50% greater than the highest applied. Okay, excellent. Number two, impedance. Impedance, the term that describes and combines resistive forces in an AC circuit should be impedance. The term that describes the combined resistive forces in an AC circuit should be impedance. Once again, the term that describes the combined resistive forces in the AC circuit is impedance. Okay, question number three, inductive reactance. Inductive reactants. What is the opposition of the flow of AC produced by a magnetic field with generated back voltage, EMF, is called inductive reactants. Inductive reactants. What is the opposition of the flow of the AC produced by a magnetic field with generated back voltage is called inductive reactants. All right, question number four. Dielectric fields dielectric fields. Electrostatic fields are also known as dielectric fields. Once again, dielectric fields. Electrostatic fields are also known as dielectric fields. Question number five. Inductance. The base for transformer operation in the use of alternating current is mutual inductance. Once again, inductance, the basis for transformer operation in the use of alternating current is mutual inductance. Inductance, the basis for transformer operation in the use of alternating current is mutual inductance. Question number six, inductive reactance. Inductive reactance, the opposition offered by a coil to the flow of alternating current is called inductive reactants. Inductive reactants. The opposition offered by a coil to the flow of alternating current is called inductive reactants. Question number seven. Adding coils close together. What factors straighten a coil inductor? Adding coils close together. What factors straighten a coil inductor? Adding the coils close together. What factors straighten a coil inductor? Adding coils close together. Question number eight. Inductive, inductance frequency. Inductance frequency. 
An increase of which of the following factors will cause an increase in the inductance reactance of a circuit? Inductance and frequency. An increase of which of the following factors will cause an increase in the inductive reactance of a circuit? Inductance and frequency. Inductance and frequency. An increase of which of the following factors will cause an increase in the inductive reactance of a circuit? Inductance and frequency. Okay, so now we're about to get started on our first figure. Remember what I was saying, figure one. Go to your documents folder, go ahead and, and go ahead and open your figures. Less than the capacitance of the lowest rated capacitor. Less than the capacitance of the lowest rated capacitor. When different rated capacitors are connected in a series, that's the key word there, is series in a circuit, the total capacitance is less than the capacitance of the lowest rated capacitor. All right, once again, when the different rated capacitors are connected in a series in a circuit, a total capacitance is less than the capacitance of the lowest rated capacitor. Question number 10. Smooth out slight pulsations in current or voltage. Smooth out slight pulsations of current and voltage. Capacitors are sometimes used in a DC circuits to smooth out slight pulsations in current and voltage. Smooth out slight pulsations in current and voltage. Capacitors are sometimes used in a DC circuits to smooth out slight pulsations in current and voltage. Okay. Capacitors are sometimes used in DC circuits to smooth out slight pulsations in current or voltage. All right, guys, take a quick break, and it's about to start your first quiz. I'll see you soon.